today I have a beautiful salmon saranaki recipe for you. To start us off, first things first, I'm going to preheat my oven 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius. This recipe is ready in less than half an hour from start to finish and it starts on the stovetop and ends in the oven. So to start us off, I'm going to be using one onion and for this, what I'm going to be doing, let me get this out of the way so you can see a bit better. I'm just going to basically slice it up. You don't need anything fancy. You can chop it if you like, but there's no need. I'm going to do about a quarter of a cup of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. And then just take my onions. Perfect. Next thing to go in is one clove of garlic. And again, just nice simple slice. Perfect. That's going to go in there as well. And we're building this classic Mediterranean flavor profile. Awesome. Just like that. I'm going to start seasoning at this point. A little salt. You're not going to put a lot of salt in this because we already know there's a salt in our feta because there's going to be some lovely feta going into this as well. I'm going to take a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and this is optional but you could also use a little red chili flakes. I love a little bit of heat in my recipes so I'm going to throw some in there. If you don't like, don't use it. If you prefer something else like sriracha sauce, totally will work as well. So the onions and garlic are doing their thing. They are looking absolutely fantastic. They're exactly where I want to be. The next part now, a little bit of the booze. I'm going to do about a quarter cup of ouzo. Just going to go in there uh, or so. Ouzo is a key factor. If you don't want to use ouzo, by all means, feel free to use fennel or fennel seed. I prefer to go like Greek, so I'm using the ouzo. Let that go now for a couple, three minutes just for the alcohol to burn off and while our flavor actually intensifies. Now, the next part of this is the tomatoes. And for this, I am using just ripe tomatoes. Now, you can pick this part out here, but this has a lot of flavor in it, so I don't recommend you doing that, believe me. Uh, it adds a certain amount of, oh yeah, that's like that intense tomato flavor. And all I'm going to do is start cutting these up. I will tell you, you're definitely going to need either a really, really sharp knife or a serrated knife, because what you want is for your tomato to just kind of just slide. If you don't use a sharp knife, watch this. This is what's going to happen. This, all this grossness here. Look at this. It just, you crush your tomato. It's just a terrible, terrible thing. So just use a really sharp knife and just dice them to whatever you're comfortable with. Any size is totally fine. All right, so my tomato is done it's chopped up now all i'm left with is the residual flavor of that ouzo it is absolutely delicious absolutely fantastic the aroma in here perfect now take your tomato and carefully without getting it all over the place just pour it in here so just let this go now for a couple three minutes or so just to let the tomato kind of release its uh, liquids and its juices, and then we'll go on to the next step. Now we're almost ready for the star of the show, but before that, I'm going to take a little bit of parsley and just kind of chop it up, nothing complicated, throw it in there and let that kind of release its flavors. And dill. Dill goes fantastic with any kind of fish or seafood. It really adds a nice uh, earthy flavor, and I absolutely love it. So, I'm going to do some dill there as well. Perfect. Now, this is going to take literally a couple of minutes just to let that kind of do its thing in here. Time for the star of our show. Here I've got a couple of beautiful 
uh, salmon steaks. Look at this. You can almost wear these like earrings. They are absolutely gorgeous. I love these. If you get them depinned or deboned from your fishmonger, it's even that much better. Now, these are going to go in here and they're going to bake alongside all of this deliciousness in here. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make some room here in the center of my pan or my skillet. And I'm going to start placing these in here, just like that. See this? And I'm going to put the other one here beside it, like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this beautiful onion, tomato, herbs, all that is going to come and go over my salmon steaks, just like that. See what we're doing here? This is all part of the magic. The flavors are going to be absolutely devastatingly delicious. So that's here like that. The last thing before we pop this into our oven is I'm going to use, I'm using about 80 to 100 grams of feta. Can't forget of the feta. And for this, I want bigger chunks. I want them to kind of melt into globs of deliciousness. And this is what you want uh, for this. You don't want anything like too fine. Chunks, baby, chunks. So that's it there. Perfect. Just like that. So this is ready to be fired in our oven. This is now going to go into our 400 degree oven. Normal people would do this for about seven to eight minutes. Greek recipes, you're looking at at least 15 for this. All right, look at this. Wow. This is like crazy. The aroma in here, the smell, oh my gosh. I'm getting the melting feta, I'm getting the ouzo, I'm getting the herbs, the sauteing onion, the garlic, the tomato is released all of its juices. It's one beautiful, harmonious, oh gosh. So now, only thing left is for me to try it. Look at this beauty. You can see the salmon just under there. It is done to absolute perfection. It looks just gorgeous. And you're going to see now how tender and absolute flaky this is. Look at the skin here. The skin is actually literally just coming off just like that. And there's a piece of nice, nice little piece here of flesh. I just want to try this because this is like super, super hot with a little piece of feta. Look at that little tomato there too. Mmm. The salmon is like butter. It literally melts in your mouth. All the flavors are perfectly balanced. I hope you guys try this and send me some pics. Tag me in your photos on social media. For this recipe and so many others, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. I invite you to hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until next time, thank you again for watching. Take care of yourselves and each other. Keep cooking. Much love. Bye for now.